getting the preposition right. It's all about understanding the context. Hello everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we are diving into a critical topic that often trips up English learners, prepositions and conjunctions. Specifically, we will focus on understanding the role of context when using prepositions and conjunctions to avoid common mistakes. Let's dive right in. First things first, what do we mean by context? In language, context refers to the circumstances or settings that surround a particular word or phrase, which can affect its meaning. When it comes to using prepositions and conjunctions, the context involves not only the sentence but also the wider discourse and cultural nuances. The same preposition can have different meanings depending on the context. For instance, on could mean physically in contact with and supported by a surface, e.g., the book is on the table. However, in another context, on could indicate the day or part of a day during which an event takes place, e.g., the meeting is on Tuesday. When learning English, it's crucial to understand the context before deciding which preposition or conjunction to use. Here are a few strategies that can help. 1. Read extensively. Reading a variety of English texts can help you understand how prepositions and conjunctions are used in different contexts. You'll begin to see patterns and common usages, making it easier to choose the right word in your own writing or speaking. 2. Learn phrases, not just words. Instead of memorizing individual prepositions and conjunctions, try learning them as part of phrases or sentences. This will help you understand how they function within a larger context. 3. Practice. Use new prepositions and conjunctions in your writing and speaking. Practice makes perfect. It's easy to get confused with certain prepositions and conjunctions because of their varied meanings in different contexts. Here are a few examples of common errors and how to correct them. 1. Incorrect. She is married with a doctor. Correct. She is married to a doctor. Context. In English, we use to, not, with, after the verb, married, when referring to the person someone is married to. 2. Incorrect. I'm interested in to learn English. Correct. I'm interested in learning English. Context. After the phrase, interested in, we use the gerund, ing, form of the verb, not the infinitive, to, plus verb, form. Remember, these corrections are based on the typical usage in context. The key is to understand the patterns in different situations. That's all for today's lesson on understanding context for the correct use of prepositions and conjunctions. It's a challenging aspect of English learning, but with patience, practice, and a keen eye for context, you'll make great strides. I hope this video has been helpful. Keep practicing, and see you next time.